Hello, snowboarders of the internet. I'm your host, Avery Lefebvre, and in this video, we're gonna review the 2020 Battalion Magic Carpet. That's right, a twin powder board. This board is available in four sizes, 151, 154, 156, and 159. This board features a low traditional camber with their 3BT technology and sidekick technology. This one specifically features their twin powder 3BT, which basically scoops out the nose and brings it back right underfoot, giving better float in deeper snow by elevating those contact points. I rode this board at Copper Mountain midday after a storm had rolled through. So, you know, you could find pockets of untouched snow and then there was chunder and then there was some like wind blown off stuff. That storm delivered too, because it was over a foot of snow, depending where I went on the mountain. It was blue skies, little bit warmer, nothing too crazy going on there. And I rode it with my K2 Thraxxus boots and my K2 Indy bindings. Overall, I feel that this board comes in with just below a middle of the road park flex to it. Something you can ride the whole mountain with, but it's gonna be more playful. So you have an abundance of flex in the tip, like through to the insert packs, then it stiffens back up and then it's softer back out in the tail and you have a lot of torsional flex. Basically, you can butter, jib, bonk, play around with this board and really manipulate it and manhandle it how you want in snow. This is one of those boards you're gonna feel every dip, divot, bump, rut in the snow. It's a very lively board. It doesn't do a great job of dampening, especially underfoot. You're gonna feel those micro vibrations. The one saving grace of it is, it is a little bit wider. So you've got that added stability to it. But overall, it's such a lively board, you're gonna feel everything underfoot. While this board does have traditional camber, it's not aggressive to load up, which makes this board really easy for popping off rollers, pillows, side heads, cat track gaps. You engage it, it pops, it rebounds, it snaps, it does what you want it to do. It's one of those boards that if you're coming into a pow pillow and you want to throw a 360 and you got to pop hard, you're going to be able to do it with this. It's one of those decks that it just doesn't really suck and the snap is actually really, really solid in it. Do you see the scoop right here? Right there. I mean, you can see how bold out that tip and tail is on this thing. Of course, it's gonna be good at buttering. You've got just a spoon with elevated contact points. So you can really get up on this with that softer flex, press into it, hold the butter. I mean, powder is where this thing is gonna shine for buttering, but it doesn't suck on groomers either. It's one of those boards you can go out and really just fucking swivel and sizzle. I, that's, yeah, 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 that's it. Do you wanna hit some log jibs or some park jibs? This board's got you covered. That softer flex on the tip and the tail has a huge sweet spot for locking in. Send a bunch of different pole jams and hit a couple rainbow rails in the woods with it. This thing just does a great job. And with that 3BT, you got elevated contact points so they're not that hooky. You're just losing that dig point right there where it sometimes can catch up. This board, solid for log jibbing or going in the park and hitting regular jibs. When it comes to turning and power with this board, it's super easy. This board just, you can push into it and really just get it to slash a turn. It doesn't fight you. It's one of those more softer flexing boards. So if you're someone that's really coming off of a twin freestyle board that maybe has rocker or something in it where you can really manipulate it in fresh snow, this will have camber, but it's got that softer flex to it. So it's not gonna fight you as much. Now, when it comes to carving, would I go rail hard Euro carves with it? Probably not. You're gonna overpower that tail and it's gonna wash out. But if you're doing setup carves or you're just getting on edge and going from one side of the run to the other while hunting for pow, you're gonna be fine. This board feels locked in when it is on edge. It doesn't feel crazy loose, except on ice. I will not deny that 3BT on ice is just not fun but I was riding fresh snow, so who really gives a shit about ice at this point? Plus, it's a powder twin. Come on, 
Let's be honest, you're gonna go butter instead of freaking carve. So who's this board for? It's definitely for the resort rider that wants a twin freestyle flexing powder board. Something that's gonna give them better float in the tips because that's what the 3BT will do, but still wants just that twin shape so they're not set back with more nose than tail. Personally, I've always had a blast on the Magic Carpet. I rode it the first year it came out, I rode it again one other time, and now I've ridden this generation of it for 2020. That sidekick in 3BT tip shape just spoons it right out. Snow just funnels right out to the side. It's a blast in fresh snow. I can't stress that enough for you. This is one of those boards that it's a fuck around stick for low angle pow, for having fun, for, you know, powder park days, stuff like that. It's an accessible twin powder freestyle-ish board. That's the way I can describe it. I love the way it rides. I'm not denying it. Some people might hate 3BT. I'm not one of them. Comparable boards. The Marhar Lumberjack, the Solomon Assassin, not the Assassin Pro, just the regular Assassin because that board was realistically designed to be a twin powder freestyle board for Volet. The new K2 Party Platter because they twinned that one way more up. This has been my review of the Battalion Magic Carpet. Do you agree? Do you disagree? Do you own one? Are you going to buy one? Leave me a comment down below. Let's have a conversation about this great twin powder freestyle board. If you're new here, remember to subscribe, click the bell, get those notifications. That way you're not missing any of the product review videos or other content we've got coming out for you snowboarders of the internet. And if you'd really like to support us and you want to help us build out our snowboarding network, swing on over to Angry Snowboarder VIP. Yeah, there's a paywall, but you get content early and there's great ways to get stickers over there. As always, I've been your host, Avery Lefebvre, and I'll see you in another video. Thank mm -hmm. you.